What's going on guys, Cesar Media here. Today I'm working on my daily D2010 CTS wagon. I'm replacing the grill on it. I'm also taking off the headlight and I'm gonna be installing uh, the new LED bulbs as well as blacking out the headlight. So I'm actually gonna take apart the headlight, put it in the oven and take it apart, paint it black and put it together. And this grill portion also is going back to the classic style grill which is gonna be blacked out. I also bought the new Cadillac emblem also this round part around the side um, so that's gonna be going on and I apologize for not filming this earlier but it's like 9 p.m. on a week night and I just decided to do this like uh, every other night <laughs> kind of spontaneous so I didn't really um, get a chance to film the beginning of it but I'm gonna really walk you through what happened uh, to be honest, it's really easy and I've been just kind of flying through everything. So first things first, what you want to do is remove the cover that's up here on top. It's held on by uh, plastic bolts, six bolts, three on the side, one, uh, two, three. And let me just show you what the plastic piece I'm talking about looks like. And I apologize for not filming the process, but it's really easy. So this is what the protection piece looks like, plastic, and those are the plastic clips. You just want to put in your uh, screwdriver inside and pop that out. One, two, three on each side. Uh, right there. So that's really easy. It took me like literally a minute to remove. And next thing you want to do is undo two clips one here one here this is the two clips that connect the bumper to the body of the vehicle and what you want to do is turn your wheel all the way to the left so that should be on the right side and we move three more plastic clips one up here on the left one on the right one on the bottom we move all three and the next thing you want to do when this is one sinks you need real tools okay you need a 10 millimeter socket and then you just kind of want to pull on the inner fender liner and you see that brown bolt there that's kind of starting to rust that's the bolt you want to remove just take your 10 millimeter with extension go in there from bottom and remove that piece one on each side Okay, next up, you want to remove a couple of bolts that's holding the undo panel to the bumper. Oh my god, there was one, two, three plastic bolts or plastic tabs that went under the car into the bumper. Now, this is going to depend on what kind of CTS you have. You have a CTS V, I think you have a different number of bolts. Don't quote me on that. So that's why I didn't film this process. Now, before I go any further, let me just show you. Remember this grill, the ugly grill, well at least to me, ugly grey grill that came with the new generation CTSs and the headlight that's chrome right now. The chrome doesn't really look too bad, but I'm going to black it out just for the heck of it. I had to remove the bumper to remove the bulbs in this setup anyways, so I figured why not. Might as well do this. And there goes my Red Bull can. Oh crap. So if you're wondering why I use painted tape here, it's because I don't want to scratch the bumper as it comes out. As you can see, the bumper pulls out sideways on the side and then rest should just come forward towards you. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and try to film this for you guys. Pretty easy. And now you have your headlight. Now the headlight is held on by this bolt down here and this bolt up here. So you just want to move those two. Actually guys, I apologize. There's one bolt here, another one up here like I said, and there's another nut down here that holds the headlight down from the bottom. And now it should just come out like so. Unplug the headlight and there goes your headlight assembly. All right, now back to the grill. So I'm um, replacing the upper grill and lower grill, and these things are held in by metal clips. If you can see here, uh, I'm just gonna pop one out. You just wanna push it in with a screwdriver. Push up like that, and it'll come out. 
So now the top grill as well as the bottom grill as you can see is just held up by all these metal clips. So just go ahead and remove that so that the new grill can go in. Alright guys, so here's a close-up of the headlight. There is three covers covering the bulbs. One up here for the low beam, down there for the high beam, on the side for uh, access to your cables. Now these are all held up by a 8mm I believe. Bolts easy to remove. Um, but the thing is, there is all these torx screws screwed in around the side to keep the headlight housing together with the headlight uh, clear cover itself, which I believe is unnecessary. I've never really seen this in any of the headlights I worked before. I've done Audi, Subarus, of course the Evo here, I did myself, it looks good. But the thing is, I don't feel like taking these off and putting the time into removing all these. So I'm actually, I'm highly considering just not doing this and removing the um, daylight running time, daytime running light um, bulb, as well as swapping the uh, low light, low beam light with the LED light. So I might just skip creating the headlight because I don't want to spend any time, any more time on my daily and I know just by looking at this that this is going to take forever. Alright guys, this is day 2 of CTS headlight installation video. Uh, this is day 2 for you guys, but about a week has passed. I was in Mexico City for the weekend, of, uh, should I say 5 days for a race. And uh, this OPT7 LED H11 headlight bolt kit came in. So I'm just going to unpack it, show you guys what's inside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So this is what comes in the kit, of course you got your HID or should I say LED light bulbs here. This is what it looks like and it should just fit right into the stock headlight bulb location. I, I can see that there's some cooling fans like the ones you see in your computer with massive heat sink on the back of it. You got a connector here and what's great about these kits is that the, uh, the ballast for the LED, it's so small as you can see here and then most of the people have been just putting this inside the housing. So that's what I'm going to try to do today without drilling anything, see if that works. So that's the left side, another one on the right side, I mean it doesn't really matter which side it goes on. These are identical left and right. Um, and let's see what's in here. Okay, so these are extensions or should I say adapters for the H11 setup. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read up on what these do. The capacitor looking thing that I was talking about earlier is actually a polarity switch. So for example, you have your positives and negatives backwards on your factory vehicle, this would swap it. So what I'm going to do, uh, I mocked it up, so LED housing just goes right in there into the stock CTS headlight, got the ballast and then adapter and it plugs right back into the stock H11 connector. Super easy to install, this is actually a lot easier than HIDs because the ballast is a lot smaller. So I can just pop everything inside the headlight and I don't have to drill into the headlight cover or anything but first thing I'm going to do is just take this out again bring it to the car and then uh, see if it lights up first so that I can find out if I need a polarity switch or not. Alright guys, so I just put in the headlights. The cable coming out of the car went into the headlight and from the headlight I haven't installed the LEDs but the harness coming out to the typical H11 cable came out to my LED bulb and of course it's working. You can hear the fan already spinning in here, letting the heat from the LED bulb out, and it is really bright. So, the priority on these is correct. I don't need to install the capacitor to switch, switch that up. It's working both on the left and right side. So next thing is installing these in my headlights. All right, so here is my setup. I have my adapter conversion and my ballast down there is mounted and glued on or should I say taped on with the 3M tape 
and the LED just goes in just like that and all I have to do is put the cover on and it's good to go alright guys so here is the grill I've been working on this is a grill I got on eBay and the actual grill is black there's no grill emblem on here like it is right now and the texture or the color that is coming is gloss black which I didn't want so I went ahead and got plastic dip and plastic dip the grill now what's going on here let me just show you is that I got this uh, CTS emblem on Cadillac OEM website so this is a genuine OEM CTS emblem from the newer generation CTSs I cut up a few holes here so that the tabs go through the grill and I use one of these uh, body panel fasteners I found in my garage I think it's uh, the one from EVO or maybe from the RX-7 I'm not even sure and uh, but it's working great to hold these tabs in place it's fit there pretty snug and I like the look so far it looks updated and a lot nicer than what I used to rock on the CTS which is OEM and then this is a lower grill the fit here is not that great right now uh, I'm hoping it will get better once I fit the bumper on the car but that's the lower grill it's attached by a couple bolts one two three four and over here where the fog light cover is I'm plastic dipping it black because my car didn't come with fog lights and it's uh, it's not too bad but it's OEM grayish color and I just wanted to make it matte black so that's that the headlight has been reinstalled on the car with the LED bulbs um, I changed my mind I didn't open up and black it out because it looked like it was gonna be more of a pain of ass of a job than I initially thought so that's where I'm with the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the car and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so here's the initial installation of the bumper. I like the look so far. Uh, except the eBay grill has these weird tabs on the right side and the left side which kind of collides with the frame and I think I'm just gonna cut it. Uh, in terms of fitment of these eBay parts, it's I would give it a 7 out of 10. You do have to um, do some cutting and moving stuff here and there but so far it's pretty good I got the grill lower and upper for like um, $150 or so so I'm pretty happy with it next thing I'm gonna have to do is plastic dip this silver trim piece up here as well now for those of you who are planning on installing CTS V grill on a CTS which can be done for like I don't know $400-$500 um, it's a direct fit, except that chrome piece I just pointed out that I'm going to plastic dip needs to be updated to the CTSV trim. So this is how it looks like right now. I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to plastic dip the hood there and uh, give you a final update.